Hello everybody, welcome back to Hockey Bar. It's a bit of a sad day in the world of hockey, and we'll get to that in a second. But thank you for tuning in today. So, uh, the sad news is that an NHL legend uh, from the 1950s to 70s, Ted Lindsay, has passed away today at the age of 93. Uh, he was a four-time Stanley Cup champion with the Detroit Red Wings, and he spent uh, the majority of his career there, uh, despite in the middle of his career playing for the Blackhawks in the uh, early 60s. He was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1966 and has worked with the Red Wings organization for uh, quite a few years as a scout. Uh, so, a uh, great player, a uh, great guy. I've, I was fortunate enough to meet him uh, one time. I've been a lifelong Red Wings fan uh, growing up in the Detroit area. So, I've known about him and I've met him personally, and he was just the nicest guy. He's really classy. Uh, so it's a little sad to see him go. Uh, he was a great guy. He was in great health. Uh, and, you know, watch if you ever can find, it's very rare, but if you can ever find video of him playing, it's beautiful. Uh, he's a great guy, and uh, God miss him. I, uh, I hate to see him go. Uh, it's a really sad occasion. But uh, we have to get on with uh, the show. Uh, rest in peace to Ted Lindsay obviously, for everything he's done. So this is an unusual story to pick it up uh, on. It is the Capitals won a game against the Rangers yesterday, but they won it in sort of an unusual fashion. So uh, there was a shootout. Game was tied 2-2 two to two at Madison Square Garden. And uh, I think it was like round six of the shootout. Nobody had scored yet. Uh, so Alex Ovechkin comes up to shoot, and he's denied. Uh, the problem is... Uh, the Rangers' backup goalie, uh, Alexander Gorgachev, actually uh, committed a penalty on the shot. He threw his stick at Ovechkin uh, and hit the puck, uh, preventing him from taking a shot. So that actually, if you're unfamiliar with the rule, that actually counts as a goal, uh, regardless if the shot was done or not. And it was not done. So uh, the refs called it no goal initially. Uh, the Capitals argued uh, NHL, uh, the Situation Room in Toronto, called in to make sure the call was corrected, and uh, the Capitals won on uh, a shot that wasn't even a goal. Uh, so, bad play by the Rangers' backup goaltender. Uh, it's obvious that it's a backup goaltender, because I know, uh, from what I've seen throughout the years of watching him, I know Henrik Lundqvist would never do so. So... Uh, it's, it's a weird play, and it's weird how it happened, but the Capitals walked away with the win 3-2 to two on a shot that wasn't even taken. Uh, so now moving on is to our game to watch today. It is uh, two of the best teams in the league right now. The Flames are number one in the Western Conference. Uh, they've won, I believe, six in a row going into this. Uh, Maple Leafs are third place in the Atlantic. Uh, I believe they are third or fourth in the Eastern Conference, too. So they're moving, uh, trying to get ready for playoffs. Both these teams are. Uh, Flames trying to keep a high seed, and the Maple Leafs are definitely trying to um, pick it back up because they used to be number two in the league. And uh, Boston's had a great point streak that's put them out of the position they want to be in. So they're third place in the, uh, in the Atlantic Division behind Tampa, obviously, and Boston. And the Flames are trying to keep it up in the Pacific Division and the Conference as a whole as they have uh, the Sharks, Predators, and Jets all beckoning at their feet. So this is going to be an interesting match from Calgary. Uh, it probably will mean a lot, actually. I know this is still a month about a season, uh, so... Uh, but this is the, probably, the, I believe it is the last time these two teams are facing. So it's going to be interesting to watch just because of the skill that's going to be on display here. Uh, so I can't wait to see how this goes on. So now moving on to stats. We have uh, Nikita Kucherov still leading in points and assists. He's at 106 points and 75 assists as of currently. Alex Ovechkin uh, scored in the shootout, technically. That doesn't count as a regular goal. So he's still at 45 goals. And then plus minus is still led by Ron Hainsey of the Maple Leafs. Now moving on to goalies, we see Jordan Bennington of the Blues, rookie goaltender, doing a very good job. He's at 160 or, uh, 168 goals against average, rather. Uh, and a 93-3 save percentage. Very good. 
uh, to see a great young player doing such. And goalie wins and shutouts. We see another change. Uh, Flurry two wins in a row right now. Three, actually. Uh, he's at 32 wins. But he also got two shutouts in a row now. Uh, so very impressive. He's sitting at eight shutouts. Uncontested now. Uh, closest is six from Andre Vasilevsky to the Lightning with... Uh, believe six uh, as he had uh, earlier this week and then wins he's two ahead of Freddie Anderson of the Maple Leafs so he's got that locked up right now and we'll have to see how the rest of the season pans out so I want to thank you guys for tuning in uh, to this episode it really means a lot to us if you're new to the channel do make sure you hit the subscribe button we post videos every day it really means a lot to us and I want to thank you guys again for tuning in and I hope you have a good day